Welcome to Swift Math. This video shows a simple and lightning fast method for multiplying any number by the number 11. To begin with, let's try to multiply the number 234 by 11 the swift way. We start by processing the rightmost digit of 234 and then progressively work our way towards the leftmost digit. The first step in this process is to write the rightmost digit. The rightmost digit of 234 is 4, so write 4 on the right hand side of the arrow as shown. The next step is to add 4 to the next number immediately on its left, which is 3. The sum of 3 and 4 is 7. Now write 7 next to 4 as displayed in the video. Now we process the number 3 by adding the next number immediately on its left, which is 2. Adding 3 with 2 gives us 5. Now write 5 next to 7 and 4 to get 574. The last step is to process the number 2. Since 2 is the leftmost digit in 234, all we need to do is write the number 2 next to 574 to get 2574 which is the final solution. I'll try out another example. Let's multiply the number 2641 by 11. The first step as before is to write 1, which is the rightmost digit of 2641. The second step requires the addition of 1 with its neighbor on the left. So adding 4 with 1 gives us 5. Now write 5 next to 1 on the right hand side of the arrow as shown. We now process 4 and add it to the number 6, which is the number on its left. Adding 4 with 6 gives us 10. Now you may have noticed that this is the first time a step is contributing a two-digit number to the solution. We take care of this situation by carrying 1 and writing 0 next to the intermediate solution 51. We now continue as before by processing 6. So let's add 6 to the number 2 which is the number immediately on its left. 6 plus 2 gives us 8. Now we write 8 next to 0, 5, 1 as shown. But before we proceed to the next step, do not forget the 1 that we carried over earlier. We add this 1 to 8 and get 9, 0, 5, 1 as displayed. The final step is to write the leftmost digit in 2641 on the left of the intermediate solution 9051 to get 29051 which is the final solution. If you learned something new today or if this video piqued your curiosity, please subscribe to our channel for more fun, interesting and challenging Swift Math videos.